the people who are most at danger of violent crime are basically poor blacks, minorities who live in high crime urban areas. But with all the rules that they want to have, these expensive background checks that they want to have, uh, if you want to transfer a private gun in Washington, D.C., it adds $125 to the cost of a gun. That may not stop you or I, and surely not Bloomberg or some of these others from being able to have a gun for their protection, but it may stop a poor black uh, from being able to legally defend himself and his family. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's one rule for certain types of people and another rule for others. And a lot of the rules that we have basically discriminate against the most vulnerable people in our society. The mm. background check system itself, I would argue, is basically racist in the sense that you have to understand virtually everybody who gets stopped by the background check is what we call false positive, somebody who should have legally been able to go and buy a gun, but were stopped because they had a name similar to somebody that we wanted to stop. The prop, So like 99% of the background checks stops are false positives. And the thing is, people tend to have names similar to others within their racial group. So like 40% of Vietnamese in the United States have the same last name. Hispanics tend to have names similar to other Hispanics. Blacks tend to have names similar to other blacks. And so 30% of black males in the United States are legally forbidden from being able to own a gun because of criminal backgrounds. Well, who are they most likely to create false positives for? It's going to be law-abiding black males. And the same thing is true for Hispanic males, though not to the same extent. And so, you know, there are lots of rules we could go through, but unfortunately, it's the most vulnerable people in our society who are the ones who are stopped from being able to go and protect themselves. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of The Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.